Thank you, everybody, for all the positive feedback and comments. The guy who I was communicating with saw the videos and he's got my information. That's all I really care about because it's important that we all know the truth about this type of technology. So later, we're going to go over the pictures from the African guy and what he claims. And we're going to go over proof that this technology actually works with a MOSFET. Now, we already know that in his circuits, he has a MOSFET. But here's another guy that has MOSFETs. And I'm going to make sure that everybody got the link to watch his videos. And he'll tell you that he gets his work from Nikolai Tesla. And how he produces this energy he makes from this MOSFET. And remember, the MOSFET is just a switch. But when you switch it at high speeds, you start to produce amperage. So... Let's watch all this. Back and a good look at it. By Filer, earth grounded transformer coil, two conductors wound side by side on that rod. Uh, one leg is grounded. The open leg is a virtual earth ground. That open leg connects to a rectifier, the AC side. Other AC side connects to your, um, transistor and that gives you a very strong voltage potential from the earth and uh, this coil here gives you a current output and you connect the two outputs in parallel you have voltage and current that can do real work once you impedance match it to your uh, load so let's go back to this African guy who's making all this stuff running from radio waves as you can see, that one person's system is doing the same thing, and but he's giving credit to Nikolai Tesla for taking radio waves and then amplifying them and then able to use them. But as you see in this picture, the same components are being used. So this is what I wanted everybody to know. Let's study the components, duplicate it, and then talk about the results everybody gets. Now Maxwell himself says that he is not a professional. He didn't get educated. So he doesn't know the terminologies we use in the United States. So you have to interpret and look at the components. If you do this, you can figure out that he's using a battery. If you can't, let's go get what he actually said so you can figure this out. I just really still trying to wrap my head around this, like yeah. radio frequencies to power. Yes. What's yes. the conversion? What happens? How does that work? I have invented what is, what is, what is called a microsonic energy device. 70% in the, in the microsonic energy device. This is the generator. This is the device. Yes, I know he has an accent. But that's all right. He just said this is the generator. So you have to understanding what is a generator. Something that turns from north to south really fast. That's what MOSFETs do. So when we look at it, you have to ask, how do we go from 1 amp to 5 amps? How does this work? It's old technology. Let's go on that harness radio frequency and convert it into direct pure energy. 70% of the components there are tailor-made uh, under my name. I'm the person who have designed them according to what I've seen in the spirit and the calculations that I've done. So um, the excitement that is caused when they are exposed to a radio frequency, those uh, materials, those components materials, they, the excitement causes them to generate energy. So when energy is generated, it goes to what we call a down converter. The down converter then put 
it into the DC controller. That process is done with the microcontroller, though it's, it's technical. <laughs> but I no, not technical. We use these components all the time, and everybody knows what adrenals are. We use these components day and night in the U.S., but where he comes from, he thinks this is new technology. As you start to see, this technology is using is not only his. I just want people to understand. So from the DC uh, controller, the current now is, uh, is, is, is sent to the inverter where it is changed into AC. Remember, inverters go AC and DC. But let's just look at this inverter, which I use on my own project. This is a DC to DC converter, and this is an inverter. Come on, these are typical. DC current. Uh, so when you talk of the frequency of the machine and the voltage of the machine, it is carefully controlled. Uh, with the computer, the microcontroller. So it is just amazing because the, the whole machine, what it does, it is very intelligent. We have combined um, artificial intelligence. We have combined uh, computer science to make the machine very smart. Mm. Yeah, long time to say. And uh, the solar panels are more or less. In what did he just say about solar panels? which I've been using since 2000, building and running this same components which I've been telling you about for years. Yes, you can look at my videos for years. Those uh, 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 ranges, but the good thing is that when the machine it is maintained, and the maintenance of the machine it is very cheaper because we don't have emissions, we don't have consumables. So right now we have seen that our machines can be serviced three times a year, depending on how much energy it is uh, uh, produced, because it is like calendar serviced. Uh, so three times we see that on the half a megawatt we need about one thousand five hundred dollars per each four months this is this is uh, uh, nothing then um, on the battery side because our primary source to switch on the machine comes from a battery we right now where you now you just heard him say the primary source comes from a battery if you can't figure out that everything he's doing has already been done and that the component called a mosfet is doing everything because it is the generator. It would take voltage and turns it back into amps. Therefore, the main component is the MOSFETs. But he gets his power from batteries. Let's go on. Using lithium and batteries were talking for about 15 to 20 years. So the technology is just sustainable. Yeah, while it is maintained, you can go for a very longer time. <laughs> Let, let's talk about the issue of failing to, to, to file a patent. I think that's a very crucial, crucial aspect. Let's, let's talk a bit about it. Okay. You know, we have got laws. Uh, there's a time that I explain on my Facebook page so that people could understand how the laws, the patent laws work. They are patents which are not uh, patentable. Okay. You can go back and listen to this over and over again. Once you understand the components in which he's talking about, even with his accent, you'll see that what I'm telling you is absolutely correct. This is Nikolai Tesla's work. When you're talking about radio waves, you're talking about Nikolai Tesla. And we've been doing this since 2001. These are my controllers that you're looking at now. These are something that we produce from cardboard. And I put an image on an incomplete one. So you can understand that we make these, that we've been doing this longer than Maxwell, and that we want to accomplish Nikolai Tesla's goal to give free energy to the whole world. But you have to figure out what a MOSFET actually does. Here's that same process in cardboard without the color. Okay, so again, this is controlled by a MOSFET. It's the reason why we gave you the image of the guy called Mel, 
who actually are doing the same thing, using the same components. He's taking radio waves and he's able to get uh, 80 watts of power out of it if you watch his videos. As you start to see that what Maxwell's doing is not magic, that it's known technology and it's been around for a hundred years, then you have to figure out why they didn't want you to know this because it's free energy, okay? So if Nikolai Tesla patented this, if Nikolai's patents didn't go anywhere, if they tell you that his towers are fake and that they give you misinformation about how his towers work, why do you think they're going to give Maxwell a patent? No. Okay, I believe that I gave you enough information with these extra images. You should be able to start duplicating the work and see if MOSFETs actually produce amperage. We showed you the image of Maxwell's original work, which you can see the battery, you can see the hertz, you can see the MOSFETs, okay? Now in this, you can't see the MOSFETs, but you can see the transformer, which also works on frequency and we talked about. It's time to give you a diagram in which to follow. Following this simple diagram, you'll be able to make amps. <clears throat> the light bulb is a regular coherent light bulb. That means it takes amps because it has a resistive load in there, which is the filament. Okay? This is not an LED light. It is a regular light bulb. So it's going to take a lot of amps to actually make it work. And in this configuration, you can run regular light bulbs. And you can find this diagram on other YouTube videos, but no one wants to talk about how frequency amps, my word, frequency amps actually works. So now you go to whatever resource you can to understand this and you understand how Maxwell is charging his batteries, okay, because he's getting amps back and this is how he does it. Thank you.